Hey, this is Russell, and today we're filming from Ameca Meca in Mexico. So today I wanted to talk about the origin of human language. And language is a human skill that is really hard to grasp. In fact, our spoken language merely consists of air and vibrations. So when we invented the alphabet, we were able to record and to materialize our language but how did we humans start speaking language? So nowadays there are some 7,000 languages out there. And we all cry, smile, eat, get angry or express our fears. So how come there are so many languages? How come so many languages emerged even though they fundamentally express the same human needs? What we do know is that you need some physical features to be able to speak and produce speech. We know of mother and man that they are endowed with a larynx that has lowered down in the throat. And this makes it possible for us to produce speech. Whereas chimpanzee, they have their larynx in the upper part of the throat, which makes it possible for them to eat and drink at the same time which um, humans unfortunately can't do because that would save us a lot of choking in our lives. But that explains that modern men were able to talk and, well, our ancestors weren't. There are some theories out there that try to find an explanation to the origin of language. And I will now present you some of them. And in 1861, Historical linguist Max Müller published a list of theories, and the first one is the Bo-Wo theory. This theory attributes the origin of language to the imitations of the cries of beasts and birds, from which early words were created. The Poo-Poo theory saw the first words as emotional interjections and exclamations triggered by pain, pleasure, surprise, and more of these kinds of emotions. And the Ding Dong Theory states that all things have a vibrating natural sound, which man actually used in his earliest words. Jacques Rousseau, on the other hand, in his Essai sur l'origine des langues from 1781, um, stated that the birth of languages was not due to the fact that humans need to express their needs, since necessities and needs will only drift humans apart. He claimed that language was born to express emotions like love, hate, and anger. Men hunt and eat in silence, but, but need a voice to express pain and to push their enemies away. So, according to Rousseau, passion was at the start of language. The gestural theory claims that language developed from simple gestures and two types of evidence vouch for this theory. Gestural language and vocal language depend on similar neural systems. The regions on the cortex that are responsible for mouth and hand movements border each other. And non-human primates can use gestures or symbols for at least primitive communication. And some of their gestures resemble those of humans such as the begging posture with the hands stretched out, which humans share with chimpanzees. And do you want to know more about how languages originated? Then check out Jim Herford's best-selling book, The Origins of Language. It reveals all the secrets behind the origin of languages, and his book is now available on Amazon. Check out the link in and below the video to get it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.